it was less an idea than maybe a, a need. In the beginning, I felt uh, in the same time very close and very apart from people of this world. I felt very similar. I had the feeling I, in a way, I can, the more I live, the more I can get a feeling of what it means also to live in very poor conditions and also maybe in very rich conditions and also to live in a totally different world and I had the feeling that um, so because I'm growing older that happens but also because the world is assimilating in which we are living in and at the same time it's alienating it's a very strange contrast so I felt the same that I felt more and more close and more and more far away from everybody happening everywhere it was a very strong feeling that because I was traveling a lot and I felt that and I felt it at home I felt it everywhere it didn't matter where I was and uh, also I felt like my own way I was was very uh, uh, breakable uh, my own identity could vanish away every day somehow. Even if I was coming from a still stable society, I felt that very strongly. And also, I felt um, that was more and more adaptable for the whole world, um, this fragileness of identity. And uh, I think with this that I became more fragile and also the West, me representing the West becomes more fragile, was somehow that this usual documentaries where you go curious about how these poor people live <laughs> and uh, how the others are, didn't, was not true anymore. But in a way I was as fragile as anybody else and even maybe sometimes more. And that's also why I wanted to be in it, because I wanted to also be there with my own fragility and offer that somehow. Offer is, a, is not a service, but as an as a atti attitude. So, uh, and I think this, just this instinct of wanting to know how other people live, just wanting to follow them, I think everybody knows that, you know, you, 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 you are sitting in the metro, you're watching somebody and think, well, how is this person living? And I just followed this instinct. So I think this is like it came more and more from these observations of me being in the world more than an idea. And I tried to find uh, something that would suit this. And the fact of not talking was something that uh, also just um, because I made some some small smaller movies before, and I f felt that in very strongly immediately that it wouldn't work to talk because uh, also my words would still represent almost an old world, <laughs> you know, where identity was still clear, and I'm coming from West, and I'm. Having, I'm talking English and blah blah blah, and somehow it is, would just represent something old and not create something that is true right now, <clears throat> and also not something that is more universal. Something it would have been something that is, um, yeah, that is, that's somehow containing everything. Uh, how, how would you say that? Well, I would come as Katerina and I would have to explain who I am and blah, blah, blah. So uh, I found that this way of not talking puts me to a very universal level of meeting. Of um, I, I always already said that before somehow that it felt almost like animals or like my daughter would now touch somebody or go away or find strange games to to meet, you know, I mean, th I think this was something I was really like such a discovery that people would invent funny, this most funny actions to interact, you know, they, they would comb my hair, they would give me plans, they would, I mean, what funny kind of, for, of 
<coughs> performative elements people would use instead of language. So this also brought me whole this this whole world of of theater back, which I was already like I was not very much interested in that anymore because also it seemed for me also in, on the stage there was it was not adequate anymore the gestures. <laughs> And they're all suddenly made sense again, you know? So, so this whole slow discovery of this m made me to come to the visitor, yeah. When the camera was off with the people, we never took the camera off when we were with the people. It was one of the rules. It was very important. So we were not, we were having the camera on when we met somebody and then we would go and then we would turn the camera 